Hello and welcome everyone to this Warcraft free play. There's going to be a first of a best three here from the AWL, which was played around uh, what was it? Beginning of last month, I guess. Actually, was it? I don't know. It it's taking me so long Ready to, to just actually pump out videos that I don't exactly remember when uh, this was played. But nevertheless, uh, there's going to be another human versus undead matchup here between Tho, who is going to return uh, from his series against Focus that I casted like a week, two weeks ago. Yeah, I don't know why. Actually, I do know why. Um, basically, I was overloaded with work after uh, the mid-break, and yeah, I was kind of, kind of screwed. I had my hands tied for the majority of the time. Finally, I've done about half of it, and I completed tests recently, so... Yeah, got a lot of breathing room, at least today, so hopefully I can pump out at least a couple more videos, so I can, like, upload it in the next series of days. So, anyway, though, spawning in Red Human, uh, he'll be facing off against 120, the... I was gonna say up-and-comer, but he's pretty much already, uh, reached the top, honestly. Um, 120 has been one of the highest performing overall players, I guess, who recently joined the scene, or at least the, the top level scene, I think his, yeah, he did alright in WCA 2014, I think, I don't know how far he actually went in that, let me search um, for that, but, yeah, anyway, um, yeah, AWL again, uh, this is the winners of Group B, so, yeah, not much else to say, honestly. So, it looks like it's going to be Ted opening here for 120. The map is on Amazonia, so a relatively small map. Um, probably... Probably good for a an undead play, I guess. I, personally, I don't know which maps are favorable for which races. That's kind of something that I've kind of neglected learning on. I always figured that... Uh, you know, it's kind of uh, player dependent, honestly, the pr uh, personal preferences and all that. Um, obviously, there are some uh, clear indicators and in, uh, like which race would do better in which maps. For instance, Twisted Meadows seems like a pretty good map for a human player or um, a, a night elf player because they can go for that rock golem straight away. But on a map like uh, Amazonia, it's kind of uh, kind of iffy for me, at least because there's no clear indications as to why a race would have an advantage over something else. Uh, 120 getting caught out a little bit, trying to do that uh, High Priest camp there. He will be able to take most of it and back off, but... Yep, the remainder will just be picked up by Tho. 120 actually getting quite a bit of experience already. Um, not not something you usually see, they usually go straight into harassment, but uh, thankfully 120 did go for a creep camp first. Uh, he should get level 2 before harassing, uh, or at least that's what I think, because I think Unholy Aura would be pretty helpful. Anyway, um, possible expand attempt here for Tho, he is moving out a couple of militia and Looking towards that uh, gold mine there. Meanwhile, I don't think 120 can actually do much about that. Uh, he is starting to produce his crypt fiends, and tier 2 is about 40% done. Um, so, yeah, there is that. Death Knight, probably not going to find too much. He might be able to pick up a kill here and there with the Death Coil, and he will pick up the trap we're giving level 2. Um, so, yeah, nicely done won't be able to get that rock golem and it doesn't look like he's not gonna get any items whatsoever either and he in fact he gets surrounded which is not a good turn of events there but he does utilize the cloak of shadows which you rarely see being utilized in fact mainly due to the just how how uh, situational that item is and how how quick most people actually sell that um, but that was able to save his death knight and it was able to save uh, using that TP scroll, which is pretty good. Crypt Fiend starting to show up here, and seems like Tho is going to back off a little bit. Uh, I don't know if he's researching Defend. He did just start as soon as he saw those Crypt Fiends. 
So yeah, they should be able to mitigate the damage very, very soon. Level 3 on the Archmage, so that should be level 2 elementals for him. Um, yeah, looking over at the WCA 2014 results. Um, I don't think I... I don't think I casted the playoffs? I don't remember, it's been so long. Um, actually, did... Maybe I, I misspoke. Uh, maybe I meant 2015, but... Ooh, honestly, I don't... I don't remember. Alrighty, lots of them in. The uh, expansion has already been built. Um, tier 2 should be starting momentarily. It seems like uh, Tho has a lot of resources in the bank as well, so once he waits for that lumber, he should start getting that tier 2. Sword of House 420 has been placed down, and the Lich is on the way. Uh, pretty typical stuff here for 120. Uh, he is hoping to break this expansion sometime soon. Probably not now, since he only has a couple of Griffins with him. Uh, but once he gets, like, maybe one or two destroyers, maybe there might be some hope. But right now, three Griffins probably not going to do it against all these footmen. However, he is able to uh, pick up those militia there, so... Yeah, I guess that's kinda nice. Illusions used to scouting, not much else really. Defend is going to be utilized to try and bounce back those Crypt Fiend attacks. A um, forces are under attack. Lich is now out, and the pretty big uh, Frost over there on top of all those Fumin, despite being level 1. Uh, the AoE, I mean, it hit like so many, it's pretty worthwhile ability to, or uh, pretty worthwhile cast there. Another Frost Nova, and that should be another Footman picked up there, and that is going to be level 2 uh, Death Coil for the Death Knight. However, the Lich, uh, being left uh, uh, left behind by his teammates, uh, he will be Death Coiled back to full health, however, and should break the surround, otherwise he is just going to use uh, that TP scroll if it gets uh, transferred over. Uh, oh, it's very close. The Archmage, one more. Nope. Okay, very, very close. The Sunni statue, thankfully, was nearby and able to top up that uh, Lich, thankfully. Um, but now the Death Knight is pretty low health as well. 120 is a bit of a bind here, um, but he is fighting on Blight, so he will be able to regen on top of that Unholy Aura. Crepine gets picked off by those Elementals. Those Elementals are going to be such a pain to deal with. Uh, unfortunately, Black Citadel is not completed, so Destroyers can't uh, get up in the air. Wow. Uh, Lots of burst. I believe the Nova Coil combo was uh, put on that death uh, on that Archmage, and he will be forced to TP scroll back to his expansion. Alrighty. Um, trying to find uh, trying to find WCA 2015 here, but uh, still can't find it. Maybe I have to Google type it. Unfortunate. Alright, um... Attack at the base. Lots of towers from Tho. Um... And, yeah, they, those towers might actually just stay as... 120 is going to be pushed back. He is waiting on his tier 3, which... Actually, he needs to wait for his tier 3 and destroyer forms, so it is going to take a while for that expansion to break. And with these towers... Near completion, it's going to be kind of tough. So, yeah. Actually, no, I was thinking of 2015. Why did I... Somehow I kept uh, thinking that it was 2016 right now. I completely forgot it was 2017. Um, so... Yeah, seeing this... Uh, oh, whoops. Yeah, 120 didn't go that far in the 2015 either, unfortunately. Um... Oh well, uh, I think he did really well in 2016, so that's why uh, he's getting all that momentum. Um, yeah, it's pretty good, pretty good. Um, recently, an undead, undead players have been doing uh, pretty well. On Reddit, people are talking about how uh, human players are actually falling off, which is kind of surprising. Uh, thinking about it years ago, when <laughs> when everything was anything but uh, human players, it's kind of amazing. 
to think about that and like balance changes haven't even hit so it's yeah it's kind of weird to to see this trend going on anyway back to this game this game is going on for a little back and forth right now tier 3 should be done uh, for 120 and he is just waiting on those dest uh, destroyers to pop out able to on the lich so he should uh, be able to use that dark ritual he is gonna wait for whenever he needs mana destroy form is now done I was gonna check the tech tree but uh, yep destroy form is now completed and now those elementals who were pretty tanky and pretty helpful in this fight is going to just be uh, mana food for those destroyers Interestingly enough, we have the Paladin coming out of the second hero, which is, uh, yeah, um, not something you see too, too often. Uh, normally, Mountain King is a good resource to have to just pick off these low hit point Crypt Fiends, but the, uh, this Paladin second will make it so that the Archmage won't get picked off at least. It's, uh, kind of tough for though, actually, because all he has is towers. Where is his tier 2 production? Um, he completely neglect neglected his tier 2 and went straight to castle tick. Um, we've seen this a couple of times from other players as well, which uh, they they just hope that their expansion sta uh, stays and try and get tier 3 as quickly as possible, which is not really a smart idea because, um, yeah, you, you, you give up so much. And as you can see here, 120 is just slowly ignoring those towers. He really doesn't care about those towers uh, doing damage to his units because it's yeah, just a couple seconds of focus fire and those towers that should be down. Uh, destroyers unfortunately need to be uh, a little careful there. They are kind of weak to those towers compared to uh, those Crypt Beans but yeah with the Death Knight at the back and constantly being given mana he should be able to heal up those destroyers whenever they need to. Blind Machines are being masked up there but of course you need a lot more flying machines to deal with those crypt fiends, uh, deal with those uh, destroyers because those crypt fiends will just auto cast the web. So yeah, I definitely do not agree with how Tho is going for this. He's going to get his flat cannons to get that AOE damage on those flying machines. But again, he's massing up flying machines just to deal with two destroyers. How does he deal with these uh, crypt fiends? I have no idea. Population is 56 versus 47, so yeah, on low upkeep for 120, he is massing up more Cryptians and just uh, statues. Doesn't look like he's going to get any A bombs anytime soon. No sort of uh, meat wagons either. He is just going to go after those towers, flying machines, and the Mountain King comes out. We do have those destroyers. Oh, we actually have four destroyers in there, but they are being focus fired by that AOE flat cannons. From those flying machines, and seems like 120 might be forced to back off a little bit. Mountain King comes out as well, tossing that storm bolt to a Crypt Fiend, and he will uh, surprisingly live thanks to the Death Coil of the Death Knight, as well as the Frost Timer of the Lich. Um, unfortunately, we do have a Holy Light storm bolt combo to deal with that particular Crypt Fiend, and he will drop. And yeah, pretty much all of those flying machines got killed off there. Um, giving level 4 to the Death Knight, level 2 Unholy Aura there. But again, both sides suffered quite a bit of losses and they will have to trade carefully. Or at least 120 will have to since he is in his opponent's side here. Um, yeah, and here we go with another fight. Level 3 on the Lich is kind of a deadly... Uh, Daily spot to be in with that level 2 Frost Nova. Crypt Fiend is going to get picked off after a surround by those militia. And yeah, basically, uh, Tho is relying on his militia and his three heroes to deal with 120's army right now. Um, I guess 120 should be thankful that some of his units got killed off there because now he is on no upkeep so he can, you know, if mine more efficiently. Uh, never mind, he is going to go over upkeep again. Dark Ranger pops out as the third hero, uh, just to deal with the Mountain King and Pally, I believe. And once again, the siege is going to continue. Um, we have an Acolyte here, not sh exactly sure why. Um, 
I mean, if any of these units had a sack, uh, sack skull, and placed down a blight, uh, placed down blight, then I would have understood why the acolytes there. But yeah, if it's not there for the, um, if he's not there for the forward tomb of relics, I, I actually don't know why he's there for. Um, uh oh. Okay, so foregoing the defense, and he's just gonna go straight into counter attack, maybe. Uh, no, that is not gonna be the case. Okay, that little weird. I don't know why uh, Tho went for that kind of maneuver, but right. Yeah, I actually, actually don't know why he went for that kind of maneuver, but here we go with this fight here, or at least uh, I thought it was a fight. Peasants slowly getting picked off one by one. We only have a couple of guard towers and a single arcane to try and uh, deal with this. A bombs finally popping out here and acting as a tank meat shield for the undead army. Uh, we can see that the double melee heroes of the human are trying to focus fire that Kryptine, but yeah, in return they're taking a lot of damage as well. Nova Coil onto the Mountain King and he will be picked off. And that is going to be unfortunate. Thankfully, he was just level 1, so that will be a quick revive uh, for him. Knights popping out as well. Animal War trained, but that is not going to be enough. Death Coil is going to be uh, cancelled there, thanks to the Staff of Sanctuary of the Pali. But now with the A-Bomb, uh, we'll be able to effectively tank up all these uh, tower shots here. And of course, the Death Knight will be able to toss the Death Coil when needed. So, yeah, those still going for those flying machines, uh, training up those knights as well. Plus one, plus one on those knights, and plus one, plus one on those flying machines. He's spent a lot of resources on upgrades. Uh, but is that going to be enough? I have actually no idea if it's going to be enough. So far, um, he doesn't have the courage to do so, and he's going to go for Siege Tank's play. Hmm, okay. Um, I know how most people view Siege Tanks. They view it with so much disdain that I understand. I have no idea why these flying machines are standing around. Uh, I don't know if the... I mean, they're going to get their bombs not even anywhere soon, so... Um, yeah, kind of a question mark there on why uh, they took unnecessary damage. Deep Scroll is going to be used by the Undead player, and he sh uh, was going to pick up a couple of kills, but all he got was flying machines. Oh, actually, siege, siege, uh, siege tanks are dealing with that Ziggurat very nicely. Uh, 120. Yeah, kind of not smart to stop mining gold, because then he just completely ran out of gold and he couldn't repair anymore. Tumor Relics will be taken down, uh, 120 is kind of struggling on supply now, thanks to those siege engines, and this might be the reprieve that uh, Tho needed, because now he can resaturate his expansion and try and regain that economic advantage now that he has tier 3. Um, more siege engines being built, um, probably not smart to send in siege engines while your opponent's is dealing with him. Oh, actually, never mind. It's just ghouls. So it was ghouls until the main army came back, um, and now the siege engines might just be picked off here. One is going to get surrounded, and yeah, that is going to be that. Scourge bone chimes gets picked up, so that should be helpful for those knights and the double heroes here. But a player's forces are under yeah, attack. it could just be sold, which is uh, not unreasonable. Stormbolt onto the uh, the Dark Ranger there, but the Paladin gets huge amount of burst. Death Coil and Nova uh, Frost Nova. Thankfully, he did transfer the Staff Sanctuary over to the Mountain King and quickly uh, saved him. Quick hands there for Tho. Unfortunately, uh, things are just not working out for him. Yet again, another siege engine gets surrounded, and this is going to be another one dead. Uh, the siege engine, again being uh, very, very annoying, is going to cancel that Tomb of Relics. Uh, and yeah, that is going to be the end of the siege engine era, or at least I thought so until he uh, started producing more. Um, 
the expansion. 120 basically had enough, and he is now going to raise this town hall to the ground. Fly machines, they do finally have their bomb upgrades. Uh, I'm not going to do too much to those ghouls. They should maybe go after the ziggurats instead. Um, but yeah, 120's base is now under siege. Uh, he does have 300 gold used for repairs. Will it be enough? Uh, I guess it won't be enough if those acolytes just straight up die. But the main army is now back and they should be able to deal with this. I do not agree with though leaving behind a knight, however, that is an expensive unit to leave behind. Siege engines, yeah, do as much damage as possible, but a knight is kind of a kind of valuable to lose. And that is gonna give uh, level something, I believe level four to the Lich, so uh, that is going to be either level 1 Dark Ritual or level 2 Frost Armor there. Where's DK? DK is over here. Um, has been spotted by those flying machines. Uh, but he should be able to pick up the Elemental with the Death Coil. Oh, he's going to get Storm Bolted to the face. Um, he's not going to actually Death Coil the uh, Water Elemental. He's just... He's not even going to kill it. Come on, 20. It's just one, one hit away from dead. Um, any experience is good experience, and finally he picks it up. Players' forces are under attack. So yeah, Tho is kind of in a bind right now. His three heroes is just not enough to uh, match the undead army, and he's just relying on uh, hit and run tactics with his flying machines and siege engines. He will be able to take down the altar of darkness this time around, um, but like that's all he can take. He's just getting small victories here and there, but he needs a major victory if he wants to turn things around. His expansion is being rebuilt. He didn't actually mine that much gold from this. I think he only mined about 12,000. Um, nope, only 7,000. Oh, six, six, about 600,000. Uh, wow, 600,000? About 6,000 gold from that gold mine. Um, But yeah, obviously it's not going to work out if he can't get an, an army good enough uh, to fight this particular army head on. Tried focus firing uh, the Dark Ranger there, but thanks to death coils and all that, she will be able to live for another day. Alright, is the knight... No, the knight is still not moved, so Tho needs to move this knight. This knight has been here forever. He's been sanctuaried back and... I don't know, I, I guess he's shocked. He's in psychological horror from that from that one experience. Um, the old jokes aside, Tho has a knight that is not doing anything. And the Mountain King's drops for some reason. Uh, Mountain King was, was the one that actually had the Staff Sanctuaries, so for him to drop means that the uh, any future uh, units might not be able to be saved. Obviously you wouldn't save an elemental, um, but yeah, kind of a uh, kind of shocking that the Mountain King got picked off so quickly, um, despite the Paladin being there. So silence once again. Nova Coil onto the Archmage, he is level 5, and he's very close to getting killed off there. Silence still on him, and that is going to be a Death Coil kill onto uh, the level 5 Archmage. Level 5, that's so much time needed to revive at the altar, and so much resources needed to revive at the uh, the tavern. So, um, Tho is really screwed right now. That silence lasted forever. What is he? She's level 3 Dark Rangers, so I don't actually remember how long silence uh, lasts on heroes. Because, sil uh, because debuffs and spells are less effective against heroes because of their uh, their armor type. So, yeah, I don't exactly know how long that lasted, but it lasted enough uh, for the Death Knight to just get two Death Coils out. Forces are under attack. So, yeah, though, starting to mess up a couple more knights. He still has this lazy one at the back. Um, 
I mean, he's thankful that 120 chose not to reestablish his uh, destroyer numbers here. I mean, he can still get three straight away, but um, yeah, knights should be able to do well against those crypt fiends. Um, it's just he's he's just not finding the right opportunities. Line machines. I mean, they've been on fire for quite some time. I'm surprised he doesn't bother just repairing these guys. All right, Archmage being revived at the altar. I'm surprised 120 is not uh, pushing towards the main base there. And more flying machines get picked up by the webs. So, yeah, slowly, uh, one by one, getting picked off is not a good sign. Oh wow, Tho actually re remembered his knight, and it looks like he is going to die. Very very close. Holy Light is going to save him. So. Yeah, 46 versus 54. It's not looking good for Tho again. Um, unable to reestablish his expansion. And 120, who is now out of gold, um, is wanting another gold mine. So he can stay in this game for uh, much longer. A player's forces are under attack. I, I mean it's gone awfully quiet, I don't know why. I think 120 can just brute force his way into there. I mean, like, what does Tho have? He only has, like, a couple of knights, which get destroyed by a uh, Nova Coil combo. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird that he is choosing to play safe, because... Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why he's playing safe. I think there's very little risk of him actually losing this game. Um, a player's forces are and all he's doing is giving his opponent more time to get his Archmage back, which is not something that you should uh, let your opponent do. But there we go with a big fight here. Massive Frost Nova, in fact, able to do a lot of AoE damage onto those knights. Uh, Silence has been cast, but uh, it only hit the, the Mountain King, however, as I believe the Paladin was already in his Divine Shield state. And here we go with a... Semi surround, I guess, on the Lich. He is getting focused down, but he is going to get topped up with the Death Coil there. Silence being cast onto the Pally, and I believe it's just the Pally. Another Stormbolt on the Lich, and he. Uh, I mean, he was going to be screwed if not for the fact that Death Knight has so much mana in his mana pool that he can just afford to constantly Death Coil his units. Um, looks like a surround's going to be cast onto the Death Knight, however. But he just does not have enough damage to take down the Death Knight, I don't believe. Uh, the Paladin falls at level 3. Uh, the Death Knight is, in fact, going to fall at level 5, however. Um, is that the turning point, though, needed? It doesn't look like it, as his, his Mountain King now is going to be the next target. And uh, we'll be able to live with about 40 health. Uh, is going to run away, possibly pick up a pot, and rejoin the fight later. But... Uh a yeah, kind of a struggle. It seems like Tho is going to push his opponent back, in fact. Uh, very strange turn of events here. His, his, his statues can definitely turn into destroyers now, since like there's literally no more flying machines. Only two flying machines versus three destroyers. I think he can afford to make that kind of transition. He is going to retire and revive his Death Knight, uh, who is at no health, uh, no mana. Yeah, that added presence just is going to force a GG from Tho. Um, you can see the score there. I, I'm honestly that fight looked pretty good. It's just that, um, yeah, 120 had lots of resources and he revived his DK. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys again in game two. Yeah.